Thank you, Mr. Millington, for that amazing introduction. Now, it might just be me, but if you know me, something's definitely a little off right now, and I think I know exactly what it is. Hold on. <laughs> That's more like it. Good evening to all the honored guests, teachers, families, and especially to the Gene Augustine graduating class of 2020. My name is John Mariah, and I have the absolute privilege of being your valedictorian this year. I think that we can all agree that our last year of high school was a little unexpected, but definitely a year to remember. Not only was there labor disruption, but then we were faced with a global pandemic that took away from the full experience of finishing high school. We didn't get to have a prom, we didn't get to say goodbye in person, and we didn't even get to see our teachers for the most of the second semester. But here we are, celebrating our commencement and recognizing all of the amazing parts of our high school experience. A part of the celebration is acknowledging the crises that exist in our country and around the world in regards to the safety and well-being of the Black community. It is crucial that us as the next generation of Canadians are able to make a change in this world and do our part to dismantle racism. We have a job to not only promote change, but to fight for it. I want to begin by talking about the importance of building relationships. Mr. Millington built my confidence more than he will ever know. He taught me that there are people in this world who care about your success other than yourself. Ms. Smith is another person that built confidence in me and taught me that there is nobody that stands in your way of achieving your goals except for yourself. She taught me that you need to overcome that fear of failure and not to doubt yourself, but speak things into existence. She pushed me to stay positive and stay focused on the outcome I wanted and the actions I take to get there. These are just two people, but there have been so many more. Miss Aiki, Mr. Babcock, Miss Builder. So many people have had such a significant impact on my success and have been instrumental to my growth as an individual. Each one being unique in their own way and having something different to teach me about myself. When you build relationships, you are able to meet people that are able to open so many doors for you. When you have these relationships, not only do you have your own connections, but you have connections through other people. Now sure, you could do everything by yourself, but it is so much easier to have people around you that support you. So look for those relationships and nurture the ones that you have thus far. On the topic of relationships that we nurture and help us be successful, I of course need to mention the roles of our families on our success. Mom and dad, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for letting me learn things on my own. Thank you for teaching me that I have to be the one to put the work in in order to achieve the goals that I set. And thank you for motivating me. Looking back, I have reflected on a major lesson that I've learned. And that is, whenever an opportunity presents itself to you, you gotta see those opportunities and you gotta grab it by the... Gotta grab it by the hand. You see, when I was in grade nine, there were so many opportunities presented to me and people would go out of their way to literally hand these opportunities to me, but I would always turn them down. I remember after maybe the fifth or sixth time with Mr. Madison offering me something, I turned him down yet again. And he told me something that I will remember for the rest of my life. What he said was, you can lead a horse to water, but you can never make him drink. After that, he stopped coming to me completely. <laughs> and I'm here thinking to myself, you're a big man, grade nine now. You don't need none of this. But that's when I realized that he wouldn't be doing these things if he didn't care about me. If I could go back, I would take every single opportunity that was presented to me. And so I emphasize to you all, now that you are out of high school, whatever opportunities you encounter, take them. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is our roles in the future. I wanna speak about a specific opportunity I had, which was the grade 11 Indigenous Voices class. Shout out Mr. Babcock. In that class, I was shocked to learn that the first people in what is now Canada were being treated as second class citizens. And that's something that bothered me to learn. I had the opportunity to educate others and with the knowledge that I gained from these courses was able to teach others about the issues. I'm not able to empathize with somebody indigenous because now I know more. Also in the months of the pandemic during our last semester's grade 12s, anti-black racism and violence against black bodies led to worldwide demonstrations declaring black lives matter. We can be the generation that puts an end to anti-black racism. I'd like to thank the teachers at Gene Augustine for teaching us that our voices matter and that we can make change. And that change includes ending anti-Black and anti-Indigenous racism. I want the graduating class of 2020 to realize that they can speak up about injustice and push for change. 
Even if it's hard or even if people view you different because you challenge their misunderstanding, be the change you want to see in this world. Be aware of the things that are happening around the world and make sure that you are informed and that you are contributing to positive change. So I guess what I'm trying to say is here are the things I learned at Gene Augustine. Number one, there is no limit to your learning. Number two, you are the only person that stands in your way of achieving your goals. And number three, you can do things that make a difference. When I was younger, my parents wanted me to be a civil engineer, but after grade 11 chemistry, I asked myself if this is something I really wanted to do for the rest of my life. I changed my career path to something that made me happy, and I'm now pursuing a degree in business administration at the University of Guelph Humber. So graduates, Take everything you've learned during your time at Gene Augustine. Decide what your passions are and use your voice and power to bring about change while doing what makes you happy. This is the future, I hope, for all of you. Thank you.